earth is a natural source of magnetic field it behaves like a huge magnet with its with its north pole towards the geographical south pole and its south pole towards the geographical north pole it is evident from the fact that when a magnetic needle is freely suspended and it is allowed to rotate in a horizontal plane then it comes to rest in north south direction cause of earth's magnetism although the reason for the cause of earth's magnetism is not exactly known one theory suggests that the cause of earth's magnetism is due to the molten charged metallic fluid in the core of the earth as the earth rotates about its own axis the charged molten fluid also rotates so this creates electric currents these electric currents are responsible for the earth's magnetic field another theory suggests that the earth's magnetism is mainly due to the charged particles that the earth has earth has charged particles like electrons and protons when the earth is rotating about its own axis then the charged particles will also be in rotation so when the charged particles are in motion it creates electric current these electric currents are responsible for the creation of the earth's magnetic field yet another theory suggests that high energy cosmic rays coming from the sun collide with the atoms of the gases in the upper atmosphere and ionization takes place so ions will be produced when the earth starts rotating about its own axis the ions will also be in motion this creates electric current these electric currents are responsible for the magnetism of the earth this figure shows the schematic diagram illustrating the earth as a huge magnet surrounded by a magnetic field extending far out into space the south pole of earth's magnet is towards geographic north and the north pole of earth's magnet is towards geographic south the earth's magnetic poles do not coincide with geographic poles a vertical plane passing through the axis of a freely suspended magnetic needle is called the magnetic meridian this line is called the magnetic meridian the direction of earth's magnetic field lies in the magnetic meridian and may not be horizontal a vertical plane passing through the geographical axis of earth is called the geographical meridian the south pole of earth's magnet lies in the northern hemisphere and the north pole in the southern hemisphere the earth's magnetic lines emerge from the earth surface in the southern hemisphere and re-enter in the northern hemisphere the two places at which the magnetic needle becomes vertical are called the magnetic poles of the earth clearly at the magnetic poles the magnetic field of the earth is vertical that is perpendicular to earth surface the locus of points on earth surface where the needle remains horizontal is called the magnetic equator so this is the magnetic equator